Hello guys, this is Debbie again from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today, I am going to cook with my daughter. What we're going to cook today, it's um, rice. Here's the rice. It's a jasmine rice. I love the smell of jasmine rice. I got this from Costco. We're going to cook beans. I have the black beans and the pinto beans. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna mix this together. I have garlic here. I always get my garlic from Costco. I have crushed tomatoes here. It's also from Costco. I have uh, pre-made chicken. The reason I'm using this chicken is because we don't have time today to go to the store. We are in lockdown. So I'm using this chicken. Normally I use the hard chicken, the hen, to cook my um, chicken sauce. I have onions. I have red hot pepper. I have cube maggi. This one is dry shrimp. Um, this one is the beef maggi. I have the fresh garlic here. That's from Costco. And I have my fresh ginger. With ginger, I always get my ginger from local stores like um, Giant, um, Food Market, the Farmer's Market. And whenever I get my ginger, I get home, I make sure I wash it, peel the skin, then cut it in different chunks, different sizes, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the refrigerator. One thing I do with all my ingredients, I always make sure I use my blender. I got this blender from Costco. It is something every woman should get. It's a very powerful blender. So I'm going to make sure I teach my daughter how to blend things. Because when you blend your ingredients together, oh my God, you cook, the taste will be like, Mwah! Superb. Oh, this here is liquid from the hot chicken that I cooked three weeks ago. So instead of me pouring away the remaining liquid from the chicken that I cooked, I put it in a Ziploc bag, keep it in the freezer. So we're going to use this liquid here to prepare the beans. It's gonna be good, 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 good. I have curry powder. I love this. This is gonna go into the beans. I have this granola oil is also from Costco we're not gonna use all of this it's just a little bit I have salt with salt we're gonna use just a little tiny bit of salt when we're boiling the beans again welcome to our kitchen So now Imara is uh, getting ready to pre-boil the beans. So she mixed it. So we have the, the black beans and the pinto beans. So there's this salt. By you putting that salt, it's going to give a taste to the beans. In some cases, you can even just boil the beans and, and eat it just like that. I'm sorry that I do not measure, but I think hopefully next time when you're doing yours, you're going to learn how to. So that's the pressure cooker you're using. When do I stop? I'll let you just stop it now. So now you want to cover the uh, use the lid. There's a trick in doing this. Put it this way. There's a pressure cooker. So now we're going to put it on the stove. How long does this have to cook? Um, this will cook um, like say 30 minutes. So this is how I cook my rice. First, I put all the rice in the bowl. 
and then I start washing it. I turn on the water. Um, I massage the rice to take out the cloudy substance that is associated with the rice to make the rice taste good and be healthy. Then I start rinsing it and then I repeat the same steps over and over again. After that step, I put water inside the bowl. Um, my aunt actually taught me this trick. Um, in order to know how much water is needed to cook the rice, you put your hand inside the rice bowl and the water has to touch the start of your wrist. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to come now so that you can cut this chicken. Normally what I want to do is just cut it like this. Take out the bone. And then just and now you cut the chicken. See that? You get this is what you're gonna use to make the bin. Once that thing is ready, take out the skin of the chicken. Put the skin. This is fresh tomatoes that we used from last time when I cooked. I didn't use everything, so I had to put it in the freezer. So we're going, we're going to reuse that also now to do the chicken. So this is what you do. You hold this like this. We don't have eye problems in Africa because we cook, we cut the onions. So, Miss Mara, this is your turn. ingredient that you blend it part of it to put to cook your beans
you want to rinse it, the reason you put that water, so you put this thing in, put that for me well. Now, let's put in our beans like that. Then now you um, use cold water? Yes, cold water to rinse out. Open it. Be careful. For yeah. all the chicken? Yeah. Yes. Put your hand down. Yeah, green onions mixed with some cilantro. tomato sauce that you've made with that chicken from Sam's Club. So you get your onions ready, but you're not putting it now until that oil is hot. And get your tomatoes close, close by. Okay. So you put a little bit of salt and you put this. Good. All right. Good. All of it? Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. You don't touch this. Yeah, you want that onions now to cook real good. So let it cook for five minutes then now you will take your ingredient there your blended ingredient pour it in there get out your curry powder there you go all of it yes so what is that you're pouring in now pepper onions garlic ginger and there it now. And what is inside the pot? Um, oil, onions, uh, some chicken. And part of the, the chicken that we use the from Sam's Club. Yes, so it's like the bones. And this is just to show how you can save a lot of money and just reuse the things that you have at home or some few things that you pick from the store to make a dinner or a food that's gonna last the family for almost a week. You can go ahead and put your curry powder. So 
so you always want to pull yes So you're going to let this stand for about 15 minutes. Okay, remember this gravy? You want to open this gravy now and be careful and just pour it. Yes, that's from the chicken I cooked I think three weeks ago. And that's the sauce was in the, was in the, the freezer and the reason you don't want to use this well you know what you can try this use this yeah right you don't want to mix that a lot because you don't want it to get mushy Again, thank you for watching. This is Debbie from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome, Welcome to, to ours. ours. Please share, subscribe, comment, and thank you again for watching. This is so good.